Hey guys, this is Fuzzle here, and welcome to Let's Play Chrono Trigger. Yeah, this will be my first LP for SPP, and I hope it turns out good. But yeah, let's just see how it, see how it goes. All right, we got active or wait. Might as well go active. Wait might be good if you're like a beginner. I've never played this game before. That way enemies won't just tap you when you're trying to figure out all the menus and stuff. Alright. Yeah, I've actually tried recording this like two or three times earlier today, but either I was interrupted or my program that I use to record started crapping out, so. I'll try to keep these episodes short so that doesn't happen again. Chrono. Chrono. Good morning, Chrono. Yes. Yes, that's us. So, uh, one that's asleep. Yeah. I have a stuffy nose. Excited about the Millennial Fair. You didn't sleep well, did you? Yes, the Millennial Fair is what was going on then. Man, I just used up all my good commentary earlier today when I was trying to when I was trying to record this earlier, I just used up all my good commentary so now I can't say anything good. But yeah. And that's Luca, our inventor friend. Yeah, it's our only friend, apparently, because uh, I don't really have any other friends in this game that they tell me about. And yet you forgot her name, how could you, Mom? And if you talk to her, you'll get 200 gold, which is pretty spiffy. Although you already have, like, I don't know how many gold you had, but... Yeah, we got the overworld here, we got... You can go into these different houses and places, and... You can get free stuff, and... All that jazz. But we won't really deal with that, because... I'm tired of having to do that every single time, and I just kind of want to get on with this. And it's not really anything important anyway, so we might as well advance the plot. Oop! Watch where you're going, lady. Why did the bell ring all of a sudden? That was very random. Oh, your pendant. Oh, that's a shame. Well, it's over there, but you should talk to her before you go get it. It's, it's just better that way. Oh, thank goodness, my pendant. It has a lot of sentimental value. Yes, you can have it back because, you know, if I kept it from you, though, I, that would just be pretty jerky. And her name is Marl. Or Marley, or whatever. I'll just call her Marl. Yes. And now we have another person in our party. So let's do a little bit more do a little more stuff. There's this girl lost her cat. Good idea to good idea to get a cat back. Might as well get it. Don't eat that lunch because you'll regret it later. But yeah, just talk to the cat. And other way. No, go up the go up the stairs. Go go around and then go up. Go up. Go up. Uh, am I stuck? Go up. Go up. There we go. Gosh darn it, that cat was just blocking me. I was supposed to lead you back to your little girl owner, but no, you're just blocking me. Alright. Yeah, no. You don't have to do that, but you know, it it, 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 help, it helps out later. When... It, it just helps out later. You'll, you'll, you'll find out soon enough. Just talk to this lady if you want to, you know, actually continue on with the plot, because... If not, you won't be able to get up there because there'll be two guys blocking your way and they won't leave until you talk to her. Oh, Marl wants some candy. Best to not press any buttons or do anything while she's getting the candy. You should just wait. I don't know why it takes her so long to get the candy, but... Yeah. Best to be patient. I know if you're like me, you're just... So eager to, so eager to get going with, but 
Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that over there there's a robot that you can battle, which is good if you want to get some like early experience and stuff like that. But we won't have to worry about that. Alright. So right on up, oh you have time courage, yes. Dimension warp. Pretty much. We get teleported from one spot to the other. Yeah. Seems pretty neat, uh, if it works. I can understand why people would be so wary of it though, to be teleporting. You gotta people don't really talk about this, but if you teleport, just just think about it. It's like all your all of the molecules of your body just being torn apart and then sent over and then reassembled again. That's gotta hurt. It's gotta hurt like crazy, man. Ah! Oh, well, you're 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 fine. So you know that worked out. Yep. So yeah, that was cool. Uh, what do you think, Marl? Do you wanna you wanna give it a shot? Yep. Hey, Carter, how'd you pick up a cutie like her? Yeah, 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 she's pretty. Vision of loveliness. Man, they just, they just think she's really pretty. It's like, they're sucking up to her almost. I mean, it's not like she's any more important or anything. Uh... Yep. Nothing bad should happen, I mean, no. Oh, that is the mysterious music and then the glowing of the pendant. I'm guessing that's the pendant. Oh, yep. Oh no! Oh no, the machine's malfunctioning! Oh, where'd that portal come from? Ooh. Yeah, that, that doesn't look too good. Maybe... Maybe that you shouldn't have done that. Ultimately, it's, it's a good thing that happened because, I mean, if it wasn't for that, then the whole universe would be doomed. But you don't know that yet, so let's, let's not worry about let's not worry about saving the universe right now. I mean, come on. At the moment, we don't we don't know anything about the fate of the universe. We're just worried about that one girl that seemed to disappear. Ah, oh, she's familiar, eh? Hmm. Suspicious. Anyway, yeah, might as well just go up and click, click on the pendant, or not really click, the press A. Won't they both be lost? This is their only hope. The pendant's the key. Yes, it is the key. But now we gotta follow after her because I'm the protagonist. I gotta save the girl. Did it. Yep. It's like purposefully malfunctioning. Oh, and apparently I didn't leave the pendant behind because I kept it. But then how is she gonna follow me if she has no way to get there? Hmm. Suspicious. But yep. Go into the colorful warp of wibbly wobbly time wimey stuff. Well, that was interesting. Well, let's head on out of this forest. Oop, look, we got, we got bad guys here. We have to fight some bad guys. Hmm. Show an example of the fighting. Pretty much just, these guys are really weak, so one, one attack will do them. And that's pretty much your only option anyway. You don't have any of the fancy attacks, just a basic attack at the, at the moment, because you don't have any, you don't have any techs. Pretty much, when the white, when the bar to the right is filled up, that's when you can attack. Yeah, we got some experience, some spirit and gold and, and that kind of thing. I don't know how many battles we'll keep in. Probably not too many. Probably keep in stuff that like shows off new techniques or people or something like that. Oh, well, that was fun, and we learned to tech. We'll show that off next battle. Yeah, we got tonic, which is pretty much a potion. And we got... Uh, press A. Press A. Okay, I gotta be right in front of it. And the power glove, which is an accessory. So, you go to the menu. Pull up the menu over here. 
Oh wait, that's that's text. Go over to this menu, down to bandana, which is his current it's his current accessory, but power glove is better. It increases his attack by two. So that's always good. Now the encounters in this game aren't necessarily they aren't really random, they're like they're set encounters. And you can avoid some of them, like this. You can, you can fight those guys if you want, but it's just easier just to walk past them. And now we have the overworld. It, it looks pretty familiar, but as you can see, there's no festival or anything over here. And, like, our house is not here. Our being Kronos. We've still got, like, the inn and the residence and all that stuff. You can go in if you want and talk to people. A millennial fair here? What oh, are you talking about? It's the year 600 and the 21st, 21st King of Guardia reigns. Wow. 600. We've, we've traveled back 400 years into the past. Yes, we were in the year 1000 if you didn't realize that before. Yeah, it's not really, not really worth going in and talking to other people, so we might as well. Well, I mean, if you talk to other people, you understand what's going on, but... Pretty basically, what's happening is... Oop. It's time to show off the tech. Yep. You got Cyclone. Now make sure that the main... Make sure the main curse is in the middle so that you can get all three of these enemies at once. Makes life a lot easier. Oop. Why am I facing the wrong way? Am I silly? I'm so silly. Gosh darn it. Just let me attack you. And Tex use up MP. So... Oh, we gotta level up. That's pretty neat. Yeah, you see that bright flashy thing? That's a power tab. That'll increase your base power by one, which is pretty sweet. I might as well use that. Oh, I meant press A. Alright. Now there's another shiny thing down here, but it's not actually a tab, it's a trap, so you might as well avoid it. Alright. But yeah, pretty much the scenario that's going on right now is there's this queen who's been kidnapped, apparently, but she's been found. And... That's pretty neat. And also there's this war going on. This magic war against Magus and his troops. Alright. No, I'm gonna use a tech. Oh! What are you doing? Oh, apparently I can't get both of them. Whatever, she was fine. On. There we go. There's one more. Yes. So, I'm gonna go up to the castle and see what's going on. Hall 2 goes there. Check out that hair. Where are you from? I mean, you want a Magnus' troop? Hardly. This kid would never have made the cut. Show up your stamp collection, son. Ha ha. Now beat it, kid. Gosh, how rude. Oh, it's Queen Lane. That's the supposedly the queen who disappeared and was found again. Something odd about him. Yeah, I'm from the future. Yeah. So apparently the queen knows us, and he's like, oh yeah, you come in. Which, if that doesn't immediately tell you that the queen is actually moral, then you're kind of slow. Because really, if we're from the future, and the queen, who looks suspiciously like moral, says that we're a friend, then yeah, it, it's gotta be moral. And can go over here and talk to these people and get a ether for free. 
And if you talk to the chef, then like his brother, the his brother, the night captain, comes down and gets. They have a talk about. Yeah. Some unnecessary drama we don't really need to see because I already saw it earlier today and I don't really. I don't really need to see it again. I'm not exactly a hundred percenter. And I miss a treasure chest. Uh. Ugh, no! Gotta start it. I'm gonna feel bad about like not showing stuff, but really, I'll, I'll I'll show more stuff. It's just right now I'm just getting kind of impatient because I tried recording this so many times today and I just kept getting it just never worked out. So I just want to get this episode. Please leave us. I need to talk to this individual. Certainly, your highness. No, oh, we're gonna talk. We're gonna talk with her alone. Come nearer, sir. Fooled you, didn't I, Crowder? No, you didn't at all. Everyone calls you Lean. You look so much like the Queen Lean. Somehow I knew you'd come for me, because I'm the hero. Thank you, Chrono. Oh, that, that's suspicious. What's going on here? What's happening? It feels like I'm being torn apart. Oh, dang. Help me, Chrono, I'm scared. Oh, I just messed it up. I can't act today. Today is not a good day for me to pretend to act and stuff like that. Well, we got a chest here and open, open. Open, 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 open. I know I can get at this chest, it's just, oh, there we go. <sighs> but yeah, all right, so mm, that was bad. She disappeared and now everybody's lost their, qu lost their queen again. They, they thought they rescued, but apparently it wasn't even the queen. But now both of them are lost and, oh, hey. Guess who we see? It's Luca! God, what do you mean she's gone? Well, she just kind of vanished. Just as she... It's just as you thought. Hmm. Looks identical to the castle of our time. Well, yeah, castle lasts a long time. I bet they mistook the girl for her ancestor. You see, a member of the royal family in our time? What? That's cray cray. Oh, apparently this girl who's been, been hanging around all this time is actually a princess in our time. But she's one of those rebellious princess types that apparently doesn't like being known as a princess. She just wants to be known as a regular girl. And that's alright. It's, it's good on her. But, I mean, because they found her in this time, now they're not looking for, they're not looking for Lean anymore. Which means that if Lean goes away, then all the Marl's ancestors go away, which means Marl goes away too. So yeah, Time Paradox we should probably do something about that. So, in order to prevent that from happening, we have to find the real Queen Lean. And, in order to do that, we must go out of the forest and into the cathedral, which is, which is nearby. I mean, if you talk to one of the, oop. But yeah, anyway, if you talk to one of the, pa one of the people in the bar that's like in the tavern or something, then they'll tell you, they'll give you a hint about where Queen Lin's actual location is, which is, she was last seen going into the cathedral so, that's where you gotta check out. Which is over here, by the way. Want nothing but world peace, or a piece of the world? Oh my. Might like to stick around for the organ recital. It's a real killer! What delicious people! Oh my gosh, these ladies are messed up. A 
Looks like you could use a food as a place to rest. Hmm, that's suspicious. I wonder what that could be. What did you find? A hairpin? That's Guardian's royal crest! Oh, they found us out! Now time to fight these girls. Well, that could have been better. I might just cut that out because that was just that was just terrible. Dang it! Oh, here I come to save a day. Lower thine guard, and thou art allowing the enemy in. Oh, look at this fancy guy! Thou art here to save the queen. Will they ask you for this? Will they accompany me? A frog? The talking frog? Yeah, that's pretty freaky. But, he seems to be a trustable guy, so we should probably... We should include him in our party. And, let's just go with Frog. Frog will do. <laughs> muscle. Yeah, he has some pretty fancy speak there. Alright, I should... Yeah, Chrono. When somebody... Chrono ended up dying, so that means that he only has one health now. Which means I should probably... Use another tonic on... Use a tonic on him. I need to use a... I need to heal Luca as well, but... Uh... I should have probably stocked up on supplies. You know, now would be a good time to stop. Might as well. It's been 26 minutes, but if I cut out some of the battle, that would probably be like 20 minutes. Maybe not 20 minutes. Anyway. So yeah. That's it for today. I will see you guys next time on Let's Play Chrono Trigger. Bye-bye.